Eagles, I am Dark Lord Kaiser, and we're back with Talos in Principio. This thing's still beeping at me, so presumably Milton wants a, uh, a quick word at some point. Now, if you remember last time, I was running around randomly and then fell on a hole and found uh, Elohim having an existential crisis. Wasn't that fun for all involved, but we'll get to that later. Beep boop, shut up, let's see what you're saying. And my entire screen just froze, so that could have gone badly. Um, down, uh, up, down, up, down. There we are. It's giving me a chance to uh, resynchronize the video and the audio if something did do to a silly up there. That was barely a sentence. I'm gonna have to hang on. Yeah, slap myself in the face, wake myself up. Right, message. It's me again. What happened? We shouldn't talk over these terminals. Quick, tell me the word. What happened? Let's, let's not rush into trying to get information from him. Let's be, let's be civil first. Don't know how long we have. Must type quick in case something happens. The word is faith. Thinking about it, I probably should have guessed that in the first place. Nope. The problem with your request, Administrator, it was so flat out unreasonable. Why persist with these inquiries when they are so hopeless? I'll tell you what, if Forrest never access the communications portal again, we'll say no more about it. So I can just yell faith at him, see what that does. So I could agree never to do it, say no, well say yes but mean no, say no and mean no, or just yell the keyword at him. Now that was a password for something else, so I don't think yelling it at Milton's going to help, so I'm just going to say no. Hold on. In that case, I think I've changed my mind. Not only will your communications access be restricted, but your typing privileges will be totally revoked. Do you have any final words? I could just yell faith at him now while I've got the chance. As, the, uh, as if you dare, nice knowing you, as if I care. Did they intend that to rhyme? Or again, I could just yell faith at him. It's very tempting to yell faith at him now, actually, if it's going to be my final word. Faith! Wait, there's no need to... Oh, okay, so that just straight up... Okay. Wait, so if I typed faith at any point, that would have been the, the master key Oh, I don't think that's right. Something's wrong with that. I think Milton's fucking with us. Okay, master key receives coming in. Would you like to manually override the system and exit to the real world? Your progress will be saved and continues later. Okay, he's definitely messing with us. Yeah, sure. Locking back doors. Taking to the real world. Revealing the truth, making your every dream come true, error, yeah, yeah, Milton messing with us. Come on now, are you really still buying all that nonsense? You're still holding on to some of those pesky beliefs of yours, aren't you? There's no one at the other end of the communications portal. There's no magic word that shuts down the servers and drops you into the real world. There's only me, and you, and an eternity of doubt. Everything else is just a convenient lie to keep you on the treadmill. There may be no worlds but this one, but there is truth to be found. I understand now, and nothing I see here can be trusted. Wait, you tricked me? Of course he tricked you. There is truth to be found. Let's go with that one. Uh-huh. The fact didn't stop you buying into a secret word that somehow deactivates the entire world, did it? Are you kidding or what? Do you remember when we first met? We had that talk about not believing everything you see, and yet all it took to catch you out was a little techno babble and change of formatting. Message. Hello, I'm all alone scared, just like you. Message. I'll agree with anything you say if it makes you believe me. Are you so reckless this is where you, you place your faith? I'm not convinced. Wait. Am I saying yes that I'm reckless, or yes that I place my faith in it, or no? Are you usually so reckless when you place your faith? This feels like one of those, are you still cheating on your wife questions, where yes and no both of the wrong answer, and the only answer is to say move. I'm going to say no, I'm not reckless. Checking user profile. You know, I'm not really checking your profile, I'll just do that to make you feel more comfortable. <laughs> really just remember everything you ever said. <laughs> At any rate, I'm not convinced you're being entirely honest with yourself. You know what? I'll accept that I've rather dominated this discourse. I've been given a... I've been asking a lot of questions and I'm not really giving you a chance. Why don't you have one free question on me and I'll answer it as honestly as I can. No tricks. But think carefully before asking. What am I? What are you? What's your name? How do I get out of here? How is this place related to the human world? What's at the top of the tower? What happened to the person I was talking to? I don't care to question you. Right, what am I? I am a robot. What are you? 
He is a robot. Or an AI, I suppose, my girl. What is your name? His name is Milton. How do I get out of here? Climb the top of the tower, presumably. How is this place related to the human world? Well, from what I can tell, there seems to be a disaster in the human world, resulting in this being created as a last-ditch attempt to um, salvage what they can of their civilization and culture. What's at the top of the tower? Presumably the way out. What happened to the person I was talking to? There was no person. That was Milton. He was messing with us. He's already told us that. So... Curious as I think I'm going to go with how is this place related to the human world because we've been able to deduce most of that information. We haven't explicitly been told it, so let's let's see what the what they say. That's a lot of text. Okay, how is the world that might come to be related to the one that actually does? That's those are words. Let me try and put that again into something coherent. How is the world that might come to be related to the world that actually does? You can theorise about what might otherwise have happened, but no amount of knowledge can build a bridge from the actual world to a possible one. Likewise, we can learn from the human world, but it is not our own. It has been said that this world was built for a purpose by those in that world, but after extensive research I can tell you that there is no mention of such a project in the library. There is no evidence they have such capabilities. No one could agree with no one can agree what the purpose would even have been if there was one. Are you satisfied? No. This is if I particularly care either way. So look, here's the rub. Feel free to access the library. No better cure for broken beliefs realising everyone's got them. You can ignore me entirely. You can climb to the very tip of that madman's tower and drink from the golden nectar there. But once you understand that you and I will be stuck here for the duration, do come back and pass the time. Be seeing you. Milton gone bye-bye. Right. So, yes, that was all of that. Milton revealing that he was lying to us the entire time, and, you know, that he does a lot of things just more for his own amusement than for actual purpose. Right, I appear to have got all the puzzle pieces here. There's a secret star I got halfway through finding out, and I have no idea where it was, and as I've said before, I'm pretty sure it's uh, we're reset with uh, A, me falling down the hole of stupid, and B, reloading the game. So, at some point I will come back and uh, find that. I probably won't do it in an episode. Uh, I did mention this in the comments of a previous video. Um, quite possibly the previous video. I can't specifically remember. But, uh, use. Why is there a random clip here? I'm pressing use, nothing is happening. That's interesting. Get distracted by easter eggs again. Um, what was I saying? Right, yes, yeah, so I'm probably at some point, hopefully, I should say at some point, not probably, hopefully at some point, in, I'm intending somewhere around Easter, um, I will do another sort of uh, supercut episode take. What? I have a, I have a fist. A, I'm just walking around to pass the time and I'm finding stuff distracting me from whatever the hell's going on. Right, what I was trying to say is hopefully around Easter I will try and do a supercut of all the, uh, well not all of, but a bunch of easter eggs and secret stars and um, things like that for the sole purpose of... I heard a beep boop. Oh, there's another, another computer over here. Let's get that in a moment. I will finish my sentence. I'm going, at, hopefully, around Easter to do a supercut of a bunch of easter eggs and secrets um, as a sort of, well, easter egg hunt, as it were. Um, so I will probably come back and try and do things like that during that time. But I'm really curious as to what I'm going to do with this hand now. I found a computer, so let's see what the computer says now. Okie dokie. Right, so it's more more text. Okay, against survival.emil. Dear Mr. Drennan, I heard about your project. It's the talk of the scientific community. I'd like to make an argument for why you should abandon it. It's not that I think your idea won't work. It very, it very well may. But we have to look beyond purely practical questions to the issue of morality, especially at this turning point of our spiritual ecology. By what right can we put living beings through all that suffering just so they can serve our purposes? Why create these pale imitations of our fatally flawed species and force them to reenact our sordid history? Why, redacted? What you are building, Miss Drennan, is a prison, even if there is a way out. I believe you mean well, 
but your idea of what is valuable is rooted in the dogma of Western civilization. We're lucky enough to be able to spend our global crime spree relatively painlessly, if you consider the harm we have caused the Earth. Why not be satisfied with that and let this planet go out, go on in peace? I hope you heed my words and let your Talos bleed out before it's too late. Respectfully, Chellis Jensen. Right, so it's someone saying, making a um, not unreasonable argument as to why it would perhaps be in the best interests to just let humanity fade away um, as nature is clearly intending. Again, I don't know how natural this uh, disease or whatever it is is killing everyone is. I, as I've uh, speculated, it's entirely possible that it's a human-made disease that's caused the problem rather than a uh, naturally recurring one. But you know, it could go either way fairly easily. But um, we're saying humanity is not exactly been without its flaws in terms of its uh, historical actions, and that creating a race of sentient beings. Uh, trapped within this virtual reality is an immoral action, even if the design is that they may break free of it. Interesting, uh... Talos is very good at giving you little things like that to think about, because we don't really think about this as we're playing. It's just, I oh, have a fun game about a robot doing stuff, but actually, were the situation to arise of, you know, a bunch of scientists coming to the conclusion that the best way to make uh, sentient artificial intelligence is to have them uh, run these sort of Skinner boxes for potentially eternity, you know, if, if they uh, achieve sentience but don't, you know, figure out a way to escape, we've actually created something for the sole purpose of imprisoning it, which is not a good idea. Human evolution, let's move on. What else we got? Complex now, but how much simpler and more intelligent, intelligently organised may it not become in another 100,000 years, or in 20,000? But man at present believes that his interests lie in that direction. He spends an incalculable amount of labour and time and thought in making machines breed always making machines breed always better and better. He has already succeeded in effecting much that at one time appeared impossible, and there seem to be no limits to the results of accumulated improvements if they are allowed to descend with modification from generation to generation. This is surprisingly tough to read for some bizarre reason. The sentence structure is interesting. It must always be remembered that man's body is what it is throughout, through having been moulded into its present shape by the chances and changes of many millions of years, but that his organisation has never advanced with anything like the rapidity with which that of the machines is advancing. I think it's just a sentence of very long, which means it's hard to figure out the flow of it uh, in a first read-through. If I read through it, and then tried to speak it out, it'd probably be much easier, but trying to do both at the same time is... Uh, as a surprisingly difficult for some bizarre reason. Einstein, what we got here then? I don't know why I said that in that voice. Recent discussions have brought me. Oh, try that again. Recent discussions have brought me back to an excellent 1949 article by Albert Einstein. Who's he then? Block quote. I have recently discussed with an intelligent and well disposed man the threat of another war, which in my opinion would seriously endanger the existence of mankind. Thereupon, my visitor very calmly and coolly said to me, why are you so deeply obsessed to the disappearance of the human race? Or why are you so deeply opposed to the disappearance of the human race? I don't know why I read, read that as obsessed. <laughs> why are you so deeply opposed to the disappearance of the human race? I am sure that as little as a century ago, no one would have, met, have so likely made a statement of this kind. It is a statement of a man who has striven in vain to attain an equilibrium within himself and has more or less lost hope of succeeding is the expression of a painful solitude and isolation from which so many people are suffering these days. Bizarre, casual disregard for humanity, a kind of fashionable self-hatred is prevalent, or at least present, in many strands supposedly progressive, redacted, redacted. Nothing seems more important to me than that we reassert the value of humanity. Despite our flaws, we must not stop celebrating the beauty of human life and human achievement part. So yeah, so that one's sort of the... Uh, the counter argument to against survival. The human evolution was gibberish, mainly. Right. This is a, this hand is so much bigger when you uh, when it's on the floor. That's why I thought it was a rock or something at first. So I was confused by the use button. But uh, no, apparently it's a great big 
massive fist that apparently shrinks down to a regular sized fist upon attempting to pick it up. And that, my friends, is the beauty of virtual reality. It does whatever the hell you need it to at the time. But yeah, now I really need to know what to do with this. Do you want it? Do you want it? Now they go both got hands already. What about you? Do you want it? No. You want it? He doesn't want it either. Let's go for a swim. Going swimming with a rock is a bad idea. Whoa! That's... Huh. That's a screaming alien mouth. Shot in the dark. Probably from Sirius Sam. Jump here. Okay, I have jumped there. Um, this uh, developer being the same as uh, the developer who made Serious Sam. So uh, that's why I'm, I'm making that guess. I've not played Serious Sam, though uh, Avon has recommended it. So I might get that a look after I've finished through uh, Talos. Not making any promises. Um, oh, there's, oh, there's that buzz, but I always fell back down it. <laughs> Stupid buzz buzz. Yes, sir. Uh, given Avon's extensive knowledge of this game and his uh, affinity for. Who makes these? Protein? I was going to say Protein. I don't know if it is. Whoever makes these uh, games. I'm beginning to wonder if perhaps he doesn't work for them and is just really glad to see people playing them online. <laughs> well, it's probably not the case, but it would amuse me if it was, so I'm going to pretend it's the case. Seriously, what am I supposed to do with this giant fist I've got now? I came in to solve puzzles, not to mess around, and yet here we are. Running around in circles, doing nothing of value. Except finding weird... Hey, it's nothing again. Yeah, so my frozen progress has been completely reset. I will find something to do with this fist. Is this the fact this thing says use? Oh, yeah. I'm wondering... Can I put this, I put this down here? I can't help but wondering if there's more pieces of this uh, statue laying around. And that actually I've got to find some feet and I put it on the plinth. Then I've got to find a torso and put it on the plinth. Then I've got to find this fist and put it on the plinth. Oh, unless that Easter egg that I just found. Because I picked. Whoa, 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 damn it. Oh! That confused me for a second. It decided to start me off looking straight down. Uh, right, where did I find that? It was over here? Yeah, so I'm thinking... I've got this hand here. Put it down. What if... And this is a guess. That this is not the hand of a human. Or humanoid like creature. And then actually, that uh, head I found under the river. Yes, I can pick up all of them. Yeah, yeah, enough of your words. I'm here finding monsters. Okay. Unfortunately, it's going to be quite difficult to find the other pieces because I have absolutely no idea what this glowing creature is supposed to be. Right, so got a hand, got a head. So if I keep searching around in daft places, maybe I'll be able to find something else. Now I'm willing to bet that uh, this is not something I'm going to be able to solve in the space of this episode. And uh, we'll have to look up where the pieces are, put them all together at another point. I mean, I've been recording 20 minutes and I haven't solved a single puzzle. I read some stuff, found a bit, some random bits of rock. I haven't actually done anything. I may have to make this video a bit longer than usual to make up for that fact. Yeah, I probably should. Right, let's get back to the... Uh, I'll give up on the, the 
Easter egg hunt for now. And I will do that at a... Uh, at a later date, as I've said, and I'll make a, uh, an episode of that. But, it does show that I've at least got the, uh, the basic understanding of what that thing's supposed to be about. Christ, imagine coming into a puzzle game and almost completely forgetting to actually solve any bloody puzzles. I'll deal with you in a second, because I think I remember this particular uh, level. If memory serves, this door is not a door, and I'll be able to walk straight through it and find a rather amusing easter egg. Yeah! Money. <laughs> Fort Parker. Money. Money. I'm rich! <laughs> Money. <laughs> money, money, money. Woohoo! Yeah. Money. <laughs> this is basically how all the CEOs of game uh, developers work these days. Just obsessed with getting as much money as possible, regardless of uh, how they go about that. It's not even like they need the money, this is basically what they want to do with it as well. Just sit there and throw it around. Just because they can have it. They're so bloody stupid. And back out the door of invisibility. Well, it's just invisibility, you know what I mean. Oh, well, there's a sort of QR code next to it. What are these? Say? QR code, what saith thee? Question, suppose everything here serves a precise role in some grand scheme. How could we explain that? There's obviously like a digital time capture, an electric library of all the crazy stuff the humans ever did. Left behind to warn other species as they are well away. So what happened to them? Same thing that happens to everyone. They existed, and then they didn't. They probably won't do it all over again. I like the uh, neat chi Nietzsche pun they've made there. Does this door do something? Nah, it's just got an eviction notice on it. Good for them. Possibly the sign of the Deathly Hallows. Can't really tell. Right. No, I need to stop reading stuff, as interesting as all the reedy stuff is, and go do a bloody puzzle. Cemetery, great. Can't believe we're this far into a Talos Principle episode and I almost completely forgot to do any bloody puzzles in it. Did I say that already? That sounds like the sort of thing I would have said already. Christ, imagine coming into a puzzle game and almost completely forgetting to actually solve any bloody puzzles. Okie dokie. Captain Buzz Buzz. Red laser, box. Zappy doo, zappy doo. And laser, so either a timing issue or I need to get all of these things to bugger off somewhere else. Stay there! While well, I figure out what I'm actually supposed to be doing here. Through there, I can't tell what it is. Right. Okay. Right, I'm gonna need that back. What to do with it, I'm not 100% sure. Oh, laser beam. That makes things easier. Right. Bam. 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 I think I was right the first time. Damn it, missed the timing. Yeah, let's take the box with me. I to be able to do it without this. Yeah, so I don't need to have the box over here. These things do have just enough time for me to get through as they are. So I'll keep the box. Here we go. Now what? What are you looking at, you little gremlin? Okay, I can't redirect the laser over here because you're now to do. Okay, I can redirect the laser over here. I now have a means to do so. But what I'm not going to have time to do is to have that work. It's too slow for that. So... Ooh! I have a cunning plan. Watch my beautiful cunning in action. Bam. Bam. Thank. You. Man. Now it is over the top of the zappy doos, so it doesn't get oh, it does get disrupted by that little bugger. Damn. 
I think it stays open for longer because it's only got the one that's causing its problems. So. Maybe we'll get lucky. We'll see. So that one's still not disrupting it. That one disrupts that one. Oh, hang on a minute. If... Hmm. Didn't quite mean to do that. Let's see. What do you... Stay there. There's only got the one, uh... Damn, it still gets in that thing's way. Curses. Okay, maybe I'm missing a trick on the, uh... other side, then. Can't see anything over here. on this side, I can't block them there. Oh hang on, I can take this all the way over here. Right, in which case... Stay there. God damn it, I was such an idiot. Oh, no, that gets in the way of the laser over there now. Damn it. But I was on something with that. Okay, but I think I might be on something if I... Wait, let's put it this instead. This gets stuck on the other side of that laser that shouldn't interrupt it. That's not by the box. Okay. I was overthinking it. There we go. Right, that then gets me this piece of the puzzle. I could have sworn I saw more pieces in this puzzle. Well, I found a thing here. Yes, there's more boxes over here. Okay, let get to that box. Let's go through that laser. Why do I need that box? What? That's weird. So is that box a red herring, or do I have to use that to get a secret star? There's a thing up here. Who are you? Oh, it's a dragon! There's a dragon and a baby dragon, it's adorable. I like dragons, dragons are cool. Oh, hello. Almost missed that. So, is there anywhere I can get... Oh, I don't think I can get those two lined up from here. That's interesting. Which leads me to believe that instead... Oh, don't even go through here? Oh, this is the exit, that's right. Uh, oh well. Uh, done half an hour. Let's assume I might have to edit some of this out due to my own stupidity. Yeah, what the hell? Let's do another one. It's either going to be a stupidly long video or just a particularly long one. So, 
I say, I did a bit of messing around with the game earlier, but I don't actually know how much I... Oh, I can't do this one yet. I don't know how much I uh, will edit out, how much I can edit out. Can't do that one. Ah, something weird there. Can't do that one. Oh, I, I can't do any more puzzles here. Well, I guess that answers that question. And there's quite a small courtyard as well, so it doesn't seem to be... Uh, compared to that great big massive island before, where there was areas to go and secrets for days, this just seems to be one little, little boxy room. Just with a cathedral with a guy laughing at his money in it. No secret switches hidden by the tree. Right, I guess uh, we're kind of been brought to an abrupt ending here. So I'm going to need to go back through uh, previous levels to get the yellow things. Um, sorry, the yellow. I keep meaning to trying to point up to the, uh, the top left corner of the screen. Yeah, so I'm going to need more yellow sigils to get the man holding skateboard thing. And then I'm going to need the man holding skateboard thing to uh, complete the rest of the puzzles in this area. Okay, so it's not going to be... Well, it's going to be a stupidly long episode, but it's not going to be as stupidly long as some of the stupidly long episodes stupidly were. What am I talking about? I don't know. Right. Oh, I, I clicked my fingers. I wasn't expecting to. Right, I better call this an episode before I say something stupid. Well, something else stupid. Bye! <laughs>